Hello and welcome to another build for Warhammer Vermintide 2. Uh, this time for the mercenary class of Marcus Kruber. So let's get this started. So we have the passive ability Paste Strikes. Uh, hitting three enemies in one swing grants 10% increased attack speed for 6 seconds. And the career skill Moral Boost. Marcus grants nearby enemies 25 temporary health and staggers nearby enemies. Uh, atop of that we have hitting the sweet spot, uh, attacks cleave through more enemies and we have no more laughing now, increased crit chance by 5%. So what does it mean if you had uh, three enemies in a row? Of course you get the attack speed, and with your active ability you can heal your allies and uh, push back enemies around you and you still have a passive that gives you uh, more crit chance and yeah, you can cleave with uh, through more enemies in the horde with your standard attacks. Uh, the first hand row is like for every character um, based on gaining health so the first one is Drillmaster. Uh, damaging multiple enemies in one swing with a melee weapon grants temporary health, maximum five enemies. Uh, Mercenary Blade, the, the standard uh, kill one enemy and gain health uh, based on the uh, health left of the enemy. And Captain Co uh, Captain's Command, healing yourself will also heal uh, your allies around you. Uh, the reason why I choose Drillmaster is because I play with the Executioner's Ward. So, even with your light attacks, you swing from the right to left, from the left to the right, and always hit multiple enemies at a time. So, with this kind of weapon, it's hard to hit only one enemy at a time. The only one a uh, possible way I think of is when you hit a special or something. Uh, if you play with another weapon, like the Hellbart for example, it's not so easy to hit more than one enemy, because uh, the attacks of the other weapons, even the Mace or the Great Hammer, are more uh, meant for a single target. So, as you can see, even if I try, I most of the time hit only one enemy. So if you want with, to play with the Executioner Greatsword, Drillmaster is your way to go. If you want to play with some other weapon, um, you probably will be better played with Mercenary Sprite. Uh, so in the te level 10 row we have no more the merrier. Uh, increases power by 5% for every nearby enemy and stacks up to 5 times. We have Limb Splitter, increases cleave power by 50%. And we've got Hellbox Tootlage, I hope I spelled that right. Um, every 5 hits grant a guaranteed critical strike. Critical strikes can no longer occur randomly. So let's have a look. Um, I choose the more the merrier, um, so that I get more increased power depending on which uh, the number of enemies around me, which can stack up to 25% uh, more power. Um, yeah, it's hard to show off because these are just dummies and not enemies. The talent won't trigger, um, but I think it's the best option for hordes. Uh, of course, cleave power is also uh, a good talent, that you can easily cleave through enemies and kill maybe uh, the horde a bit faster, but I think this one is more reliable. Uh, which I don't like of this one is that you have to hit five times to get it triggered. So like one, Five critical hit. But if I 
damage multiple enemies in a row, which I do with my Executioner Greatsword, I get even more critical strikes more often than with this uh, uh, with this talent, which only hits if I, uh, which only activates after the fifth hit. So as you can see again, whoop, sorry, as you can see again, one, two, three, four, five. So even if I hit multiple enemies and I normally have the chance to crit on every single enemy, uh, it doesn't occur because it only occurs after the 5 hit and even hitting multiple enemies counts as one hit. So in relation to the other talents, uh, this one is the worst in my opinion. So I go for the Mordor Maria to get more power, uh, but you can always go for increased cleave to kill hordes faster. But I think this one is light, uh, slightly more powerful than the increased, uh, increased cleave power. Uh, the level 15 talent row is the same for every uh, career there is. We've got mainstay, we've got smiter and we got enhanced power. Uh, enhanced power I would say is more likely meant for the ranged characters. Um, but if you have a melee character, or a character which is most of the time in melee, um, these staggering options are your way to go. You can choose either Mainstay or Smiter, that's totally up to you. Uh, in the level 20 talent row we have Reikland Reaper, increases power by 15% when Paste Strikes is active. We've got Enhanced Training, Pace Strikes increase the attack speed by 20% and now requires hitting 4 targets with a single attack to trigger. And the last one is Strike Together, Pace Strikes spreads to nearby uh, allies, not enemies of course. Uh, so I have a look at every single talent. Um, increases power by 15% when Pace Strikes is active. So, to comparison, I will try to hit one enemy so you can see the numbers showing up. We've got like 15, 15, 16 sometimes, 18, 5, without Pace Strikes. So, let's compare this to the talent when Pace Strikes is active. And as you can see, the number is going up, but it's only slightly. It's not that much that is increased by now. Um, enhanced training is next. Uh, attack speed goes up from 10% to 20% when pace strikes is active. And this is a nice combination with uh, the trait Swift Slain. Uh, critical strikes increase the attack speed by 20%. So, with the talent and the trait, you can have up to 40% attack speed. So, let's have a look. Pace strikes is active. And now, Swift Swing is active, and you can see my attack speed going up to the top. And it's very easy to keep them both up at a time. It, it's really great. In Horde, you can have this both active most of the time, and you can easily uh, cleave through enemies around you. Uh, the last one, which I chose, is the more team play uh, reliant talent. So not only you get the 10% attack speed increase, but also your allies around you. Um, if you have a team that you play with and you have characters or careers uh, that don't need so much attack speed. Uh, you're probably better with enhanced training. But if you have to uh, have a team with uh, which, <coughs> sorry, uh, which has a great need for attack speed, uh, strike together might be the better option that you can all go and cleave for enemies. And yeah, 
I chose a strike together here over enhanced trading. Even this one might slight be, uh, slightly be better uh, because I wanted to play more uh, team reliable. Uh, for the next row I have a clear choice uh, which is Blade Barrier. But let's look at all the talents. We have first Stand Clear. Uh, increases the dodge range by 20%. Uh, blade Barrier, which reduces damage taken by 25% when Paste Strikes is active. And we have Black Market Supplies, increases maximum ammunition by 30%. Uh, let's start with this. Uh, if you can see, I've got one bullet in a row and 15 to reload. Um, Black market supplies increases this by 30%, which means I now have 20 in a row. So like 5 shots more to throw. But the thing is, I don't play with my ranged weapon so often when I play with him. Uh, for me the mercenary is more of a melee character. So this 5 bullets more don't mean too much in my opinion. Uh, stand clear increases dodge range by 20%, which is of course nice to dodge more and have more range to uh, evade attacks, but I still wouldn't go for this because we still have blade barrier, uh, which is active when pace strikes is active, and as I said earlier, if you are in the horde you can play with execution and greatsword, Swing from right to left to left to right, and it's almost always active face strikes. Which means if you have it active, you get 25% reduced damage, which is awesome survivability. Um, it's really hard uh, to get you down when Blade Barrier is active. You are very tanky, you are very survivable, and this is clearly the best choice in this talent row. So we've got only one talent row left and we have three more talents to discuss. We have first Walk It Off. Moral Boost also reduces damage taken by affected allies by 25% for 10 seconds. We've got Ready for Action. Reduces the cooldown of Moral Boost by 20% and On Your Feet Mates. A uh, moral boost also revives knockdown allies. I mean, it's. Uh, I want to start with the last one first. I mean, it's a great talent uh, that you can have re a revive from a distance. That you don't have to stand there, press E, and revive your mate. Uh, but it's very situational, which means your mate has to go down in the first place, so you can active the skill or this talent that you get used out of it. It's situational good, but compared to the others in this row, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, ready for action? Uh, like I said, reduces the cooldown by 20%. So let's have a look at our cooldown. Uh, without the talent, cooldown is by 1 minute and 20 seconds. Try to close it a bit. Or I can easily choose the potion of concentration. So, 1 minute and 20 seconds without the talent. With the talent, we have 1 minute. It was hard to see. I'll give it another try. So, yeah, 1 minute and 3 seconds compared to. 1 minute and 20 seconds. It is of course a cooldown reduction and it's nice to have your ulti faster so you can like spam it all the time. Um, but with walk it off uh, it reduces the damage for you and your nearby allies by 25%. So you get tankier and you can still have your mates tankier. Which is nice, so that they don't get down in the first place. So, if you can keep it up, um, make your team tankier, 
you have no problems with forts, you have no problems with specials, and you don't have to use this talent. Because if they are tankier, they don't get down, so you don't have to revive someone. Uh, that's why I choose Walk It Off to head my team tankier and it's more reliable for the team play. Uh, so this was my choice. But of course you can still go for Ready for Action, have the reduced cooldown and spam your ulti, which is of course not a wrong option. I just prefer Walk It Off to have, yeah, like I say, the more team play based skill uh, as my last talent. So that was it. Uh, this is of course just my opinion. You can still choose other talents, you can still uh, play around and ty uh, try it on your own. I would like to hear your opinions on this one. So thank you for watching and because it's the 24th of December, have a nice Christmas everyone. Goodbye.